Welcome back, boys and girls. And today I want to talk about what I think is the second important uh, hunting equipment. Yeah, it's a tree stand. It really depends on what kind of deer you're hunting and where you're hunting. But where I live in Virginia and hunting whitetails, tree stand is must. In general, there are two types of tree stand: stationary tree stand and a, a portable tree stand. Stationary tree stand is hang on tree stands or leather uh, a tree stand where it's fixed to one tree. Now, portable tree stand is self-climbing tree stand where you could carry in your back and go anywhere you want and climb any tree you want. And today, I'm going to talk about the stationary tree stand first, and then next, I'm going to talk about the uh, self-climbing tree stand. First, I want to talk about the safety of tree stand. Now, hunting in general is very safe sport. Uh, in fact, it's safer than playing baseball. But when accidents do happen, a lot of accidents happen actually from a tree stand. So I even seen a lot of videos where hunters would talk about how they lost their dad on a tree stand accident. Now, so you do have to take it very seriously and take every precaution, take every safety measurement and you should be fine. Especially modern tree stands are made to be very safe. I also heard the wedding ring can be a big problem when you're up in the tree stand. If you're falling and try to grab something, if they ring get caught, you could lose your finger or strip the whole skin off. Yes, it gets pretty scary. So what I think is that you really should have a glove on or if possible, take your ring off and leave it at home with your wife. I'm sure she'll understand. You might think, why do I need a tree stand if I have a blind? But trust me, it's a whole different ball game. About 12, 13 years ago, when I first got my tree stand and climbed about 20 feet high, I was in heaven. I could see out to 200 yards away. I could see in all directions and best of all, no bugs up there, no ticks, no mosquitoes, and it's very comfortable sitting up there. And when the when you have the shot, having a solid rest to shoot, it is awesome. And uh, you're probably aware of this, but in the morning, all the airs are getting lifted up, so your smell goes up. And in fact, if you climb the tree in the morning and kind of bend over, you could feel the air coming up to you. So you will consume your smell as well. And as long as you're not sitting right on on the on the trail the game trail and if you're sitting away from it, you could get away with some movements. Uh, you know, getting ready to shoot or whatever, uh, they won't really see you unless they're looking at your direction. So, it's awesome. It's the same survival the last time. Because I have already shot my dog. He gets a pass again. First, I want to talk about the hang-on tree stand. Hang-on tree stands are great for bow hunters where you could get up and pull your bow without having any obstruction, but not really great for the rifle hunter because you don't have that steady rest where you could put your rifle on. And I personally don't feel very safe because the hang-on tree stand is held by just one strap and that makes me a little bit uncomfortable. And you, when you climb up to the tree, either using a, a, a climbing stick or screw on to the trees or whatever. Uh, it's really ha it's really hard to have your safety harness hook up to you as you're climbing up. And f when you're moving from a, a ladder or climbing sticks or whatever to the hang on tree stand, that gets a little bit scary. So I used it one year and I really felt unsafe. So I never used it again. Here is the hang on tree stand that I bought 12, 13 years ago. Used it one season and I didn't feel safe, so I never used it again. Now let's talk about the ladder tree stand. Now this tree stand has become my favorite recently. I've been using them for the past three years because I'm mostly hunting on a private land and I don't feel like getting up early in the morning, carrying a uh, climbing tree stand and making all the noise going up and stuff. So having a ladder stand fixed to a tree I actually have a six ladder stand in that property, so I got the property covered pretty well. And just you could just walk up to it, and it's very quiet, a lot quieter than a uh, climbing tree stand. And you could actually hunt a lot longer in the evening because you, you don't have to worry about getting your tree, uh, tree stands out and taking it with you. So it's very comfortable. And there are usually two types, a single person and two people uh, a stand. Uh, it takes two or three people to set up a ladder uh, tree stand depending on what size you have. 
Now I have some in two people three stands and I have one person three stand as well. Now if you can, it's better to have two people ladder three stands. It's much more roomier and you could sit there all day and you have enough room to put your backpacks or whatever next to you. And then uh, having a long uh, of rifle uh, armrest, you have, it gives you more freedom and more stable shots. So that's great. And also sitting on a tree, having a wider space, it's easier for you to turn and look behind the trees instead of being fixed or smaller space. And if, especially if you're a big guy, you want to have more room. And I've been putting in for uh, two people collateral stand previously because I went home with my kids. But recently, because kids are not really with me anymore and they don't even want to be with you when they're in the tree, they want to do their own hunting. So uh, I've been putting single stands up there. But when you put a single uh, collateral uh, tree stand, you want to make sure you put extra accessory hangers up there so as you climb up you can hang your backpack there you could momentarily hang your rifle there and and get yourself in and settle in and now one thing about ladder tree stand they have a very low armrest or the you know rifle rest because they also wanted to give you access for the bow hunters so when they get up they have a clearance but then for a rifle hunter or crossbow hunter like me their armrest is way too low you can't really have your gun rested at the, the elevation that you want. So I always carry a small vice grip and I just pinch it right at the hinge. That way I could have it set at the height that I want. So I could have a steady shot. And also um, in Virginia, all you have to do is have an orange cap and as long as it's visible in all directions, it's legal. So I don't like to have my orange cap on me because uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but they could catch a moving pretty way. If you know, if you have a solid column moving around, they'll see you. So I just set it at the one corner of a rifle rest, so that it could be seen in all direction. And then uh, that way, when I have a movement, the deals won't bust me. And I tell you, man, uh, this is this made my hunting so much easier. hunting with a ladder tree stand make sure you have your rifle sling with you so you could shoulder your rifle put your backpack on your back and climb up the tree at once and that makes it a lot easier so let's see what we have in the backpack now I want to make sure you can see everything here now one thing that's really important to me is cushion yes I like to say dicks <laughs> anyway because a lot of times you go up to your tree stand and you find the, the seat that they that they have is completely wet or have a snow or even missing or was destroyed by a bunch of squirrels. So I make sure I have this with me and this have saved my butt many, many times. And I have deer drag ropes, hunting knives, you know, all, all the usual thing. Now, one thing that I do carry with me on a tree stand, uh, the leather tree stand is this bow hanger actually. Not because I do bow hunting, but I use this as a shooting rest because when I'm shooting to my left or right, having this arm gives me that where I can have my rifle rest to my left or right because if I'm trying to self-film myself when I'm hunting, I need stability. So this comes, you know, very handy for me. So you could screw it, screw it right onto the tree. So that's really important. And everything else is pretty much the same. I have my collar, my ziplock. Uh, rubber gloves, snacks, and water. Oh, here. This one thing I want to show it to you. And I have my hunting license here and a vice grip. So this comes very, very handy. The single most important factor in any shooting is having a solid rest. And this is where my vice grip comes really handy. And also, I have this what they call it easy hanger and I just screw this on the tree where my gun rest won't reach like on your right side and you have a solid rest all around you. This is how I use vice grip to set the gun rest to the height that I want and 
this works pretty well for me. It is now 5.15 and we are ready to hunt. Nah. She dropped on the track. Didn't take a single step. So if you're hunting on a private land or confined area where you know you're gonna be, a ladder tree stand is a great option to go. And next I'm gonna talk about the climbing tree stand where you have freedom to go anywhere. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have, enjoy your life with what you got, but mostly remember, safety is number one. See you.